Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sumret. I'm really excited to share with you guys about this topic today. But if you're new, I wanted to say welcome. And if you're my subscriber, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I really appreciate you guys. I'm really excited to share everything about my life and what I know to help you guys hopefully inspire you. But today I will talk to you about my passion, which is health and fitness. All right, you guys, so the reason why I'm so crazy about health and fitness, actually, it started way when I was younger, as a teen. In high school, I ran track. Um, I was always interested in health and fitness, and when I was younger, I really didn't understand how it all worked, but I just knew that I love sport, I love eating healthy, and so I was constantly in, like, buying these fitness magazines, you know, to try to get ideas and stuff like that, so I was so... Um, into it and so early on that was like what I remember and then of course in my 20s I you know start working out I actually got a job at a fitness facility which is called 24-hour fitness and I just remember just being there working out learning to work out about like different machines and what they do being around professionals um, that even opened up my passion more about like why I really loved it. And so I used to always, always be at the gym and working out. Um, and then of course, um, because I love fitness, I know you meet people as you go to the gym and a couple of my friends, um, they taught me about, you know, bodybuilding. That's how I figured out that I could compete in, you know, bodybuilding as a woman. So. Um, I honestly, even then, I really, I just knew I love working out, I love being healthy, but I had no clue what bodybuilding was, and nor do I, I've never heard of bikini competitor, so um, that sparked the idea of me competing, so I went to see my first show, and saw this beautiful girl, and they had the body that I always wanted, there you have it, my bodybuilding career started, right? So. <laughs> Um, I started competing in 2013, my first show ever um, in San Diego, California. Um, it was an eye-opening, right? Because all I knew is I wanted to look like those girls, but um, I learned a lot, right? Because it's a huge, big sport. I learned so much what bodybuilding is and what you know what you have to do to become a bodybuilder, and so. It, I created a career out of it, and meaning like I just went for it. I wanted to compete, and I said, okay, well, if I'm gonna do bodybuilding, I wanna be the first <laughs> Eritrean woman to ever compete, which I am. Not just that, but I wanted to be professional, IFBB pro, and so I had this desire to wanting to compete so that my ultimate goal is to be um, IFBB pro, and that's how it all started in 2013, my bodybuilding career. <laughs> so then I start competing professionally, my first national show in 2015, and then of course I was competing up to uh, 2017, right before I got sick with GBS. Um, you guys, probably some of you don't know, you've seen a picture of me on a wheelchair or in a hospital bed. It's, uh, it's called GBS, it's like a, uh, it's like a Guillain-Barre syndrome where it attacks your nerve system. And I started um, with just a cough. That's how it started for me. Anyway, so what happened, um, I was competing in Pittsburgh right before my birthday. I remember it was in um, August. And we came back to San Diego. I was sick in my trip to Pittsburgh, but I just thought it was the flu. Came back to San Diego, I did my photo shoot, I celebrated my birthday with my family. Then four days later, I was in ER, completely paralyzed, cannot move my body. And, you know, yeah, it was a nightmare. So I was basically paralyzed temporarily. temporarily. I had to learn how to walk, I had to go to rehab, and I mean, this struggle was long, but what I remember being in hospital bed, laying down, is that I just told myself, I am not gonna let this be my, like, the end of my story. I just told myself that I'm gonna do whatever it takes to compete again, 
It wasn't about me being on the stage, honestly, but I just said that I'm gonna compete again. I'm gonna do a show again. And then I just had that vision in my head. And I was like, every day my doctor would come, be patient with yourself. Everything's gonna be, you know, okay, but it's gonna take a long time. I keep telling myself, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna walk again. I'm gonna work hard, whatever it takes to be stronger. And so I just took this step and I remember I went to rehab. I had to live with my parents for like three weeks or a month, I don't even remember. But I like used to take Uber, you guys, and I had like my hospital bag and I had like my my walker and I'm like shuffling and walking outside and Uber guy would come pick me up thinking like she's going to the hospital, right? No. I would say, can you take me to the gym 24 hour fitness? <laughs> so that was me. I used to take Uber because I couldn't drive. I was not able to drive and a doctor's wasn't um, they didn't clear me to drive yet. So I would go to the gym. I would spend like 15 minutes on the bike, the slowest, like number one, right? I just need to move my body. But my whole thing wasn't about working out, right? At that moment, it was more about like my, my psyche. I felt so good just being in the gym. It made me feel like I was that close to being back to my old self, right? And so I keep telling myself, I'm gonna do this every day, whatever it takes for me to come back into being normal, to, to not be in a wheelchair, to not be in a walker, to not need any cane to walk. So I started my journey. After that, I just keep working every day. I would go to you know, rehab, I would go to the gym, I would sometimes work out at home. And of course, after that, I start becoming stronger. I start training at the gym with weights. And um, you guys, it was, uh, <laughs> it was it's just amazing how that's why I'm so passionate about this right I'm so passionate about fitness about healthy about being like eating healthy exercising right because I lived through it I lived through a crazy moment and it helped me be where I am today after that you guys I competed on a stage of course right I did what I said I wanted to do after being sick and then a week later, I did another show where I became a professional bodybuilder, the first air woman to ever compete in bodybuilding and become a pro. So I did that after my GBS, right? So that should show you my passion, why I'm so passionate about being fit, about heal, being healthy. I like get so many questions and so many people, a lot of women ask me, how do you do it? We need help, we need, you know, we wanna be fit, we wanna know how to eat, we wanna know what you do, right? And so that's my desire, was to share what I know with you guys and to help women, empower women with through health and fitness. And so that came my passion, my business, you know? So I created my business, Simmerts Fitness, to help women and where I'm helping women not just in San Diego, but all over really, and giving back to people through my passion to empower women. And not just, you know, you don't just feel good physically, but you feel amazing from inside out. And I had my baby girl recently, as you guys know, she just turned nine months, two days ago. Um, is that people also ask me, how do you do it? And that was another thing. I wanna share with new moms how I got back into being where I am today and being healthy and fit is because I start working out, I eat healthy. So that's why this is my passion. This is why I do the things that I do, sharing with you guys my purpose, my passion about health and fitness. All right, you guys, there you have it. Um, my real passion and my desire is to share my story with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. So if you want to learn more, the links are in the description. So I'm out. Thank you. Bye, guys.